We're not here to talk about your Windsors, Half Windsors, Prince Alberts, or Kelvins. No, we're here to show off some of the craziest necktie fastenings out there so that you can really step up your tie game. Check out this diverse collection of unconventional knots. Eldridge Knot This unorthodox and ostentatious knot involving 15 separate steps is named after its creator, Jeffrey Eldridge, who invented this complex procedure in 2007. Unlike the majority of necktie knots, the Eldridge Knot is produced by using the small end as the active end. When completed, the remaining small end is concealed behind the shirt collar. The finished knot is very large and will certainly earn you some looks with its tapered fishtail braid-like effect. True Love Knot This heart-shaped fastening earned its name not only for looking like the simplistic shape of a heart, but for also being separated into four quadrants, much like the four ventricles of the human heart. This is definitely one of the more difficult knots out there that you can attempt, but if you can pull it off, it will certainly look striking. You can even go a step further by using a striped tie for a mesmerizing pinwheel effect. Van Wick Knot The incredibly tall and cylindrical Van Wick Knot was invented by artist Lisa Van Wick in an attempt to create the tallest wearable knot possible. A variation on the Prince Albert, the Van Wick adds an extra layer of complexity to the common knot with a third turning of the active end, producing a cyclone look that is unmistakable. Cafe Knot as the name implies, this necktie knot was a favorite among frequenters of cafes in the early part of the 20th century. Although stylish, the cafe knot is unnecessarily complicated, designed to draw attention to the wearer's impressive knot tying prowess, and usually to his fine silk necktie as well. Despite being a bit of a dated style, this option is sure to be a conversation starter at any fancy event where you need to show off. Boutonniere Knot this is probably the wildest knot that we'll mention here, characterized by long loops and best used on dress shirts with wide collar openings. It's usually recommended to wear this one as a semi-formal piece, as its size and design are rather inelegant when compared to other stylish options out there. Merovingian Knot Originally known as the Etiety, this knot first came to cultural prominence when worn by its newer namesake, the Merovingian, in the Wachowski siblings' The Matrix series. The Merovingian is definitely a unique look, making it appear as if your necktie is wearing its own miniature version of itself. Although it has a complex look, this knot is one of the easier entries on our list to learn. The Dahlia Knot This flamboyant knot that resembles a blooming flower is definitely among the most eye-catching, requiring complex moves and a long tie for the amount of fabric length used in its construction. The Vidalia Knot was invented by Linwood Darkus, whose fashion and style channel Who Sees This on YouTube has many videos on various difficult and striking necktie knots. He is also the inventor of the next entry on our list, the Linwood Taurus Knot. This beautiful work of symmetrical art masquerading as a tie knot is very unique, earning its name from its bowl-like appearance. It's a hard look to pull off, however, as the knot is complex and very large, making it a good match with a wide-collar shirt. Only attempt this one with your more simple ties so as not to detract from the elegance on display. Trinity Knot this more recent innovation is named for sharing a resemblance with the Celtic Triquetra and is probably the most similar to the Eldritch Knot in its construction, taking 13 separate steps to complete. It also uses the small end as the active end like the Eldritch, but is initially tied rather loosely until it is pulled tight at the very end of the process. When completed, this large asymmetrical knot is sure to draw attention. Krasny Hourglass Knot This hourglass-shaped knot is deceptively simple being a variation on the foreign hand knot with a couple of extra steps. The first half of its name comes from its inventor, Alex Krasny, whose YouTube channel is one of the best places on the internet to learn the intricacies of tying all these complex knots. We definitely recommend checking out his videos if you want to learn how to recreate any of the looks seen here. If you enjoy content like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more.